You're watching UNICEF Television. The school day begins at Harid Primary School in Somaliland. The students finish their games outside and stream into the classrooms. As they wait patiently for the morning maths lesson, head teacher Ahmed Hassan Adan enlists the help of an unlikely assistant teacher. <laughs> Here at Harid and many other Somali schools, the teachers use radio and MP3 players to help conduct lessons. Adan has been teaching here at Harid since 2010 and knows the lessons well, but he still finds the radio lessons a great help. In even more remote areas, where experienced teachers are hard to find, the interactive radio instruction helps both the teachers and students, as Mohamed Dube, an education officer with Save the Children, explains. IRI is an educational methodology that uses radio to provide access to children and teachers who are isolated by distance and poor infrastructure. It provides uh, teachers uh, basic uh, professional development because most uh, IRA lessons are student-centric. The lack of teachers is just one of the challenges in providing education to Somalia's pastoralist communities. In these communities, families are constantly on the move and the children's education often suffers, as head teacher Arden explains. In this village, people are pastoralists and farmers. For example, two children from one family. When those two children attend school the first day, the next day they miss classes. When you ask why they are away, the parents say, they went to herd the animals. Those animals are very important. To address these challenges, UNICEF and its partners have come up with an educational program called Alternative Basic Education. The alternative curriculum is flexible, allowing students who don't manage to enroll at the right age to do so later and to finish primary school in five years instead of eight. This allows pastoralist children to tend to their animals and also go to school, which is free for everyone. Teachers are chosen from the community, receive in-service training and are provided with incentives and learning material. Since March 2012, more than 5,000 children in Somaliland have enrolled through the ABE program. Dubé says half of those are girls. The program is designed to attract girls, offering flexi-time learning, separate sanitation facilities, provision of sanitary kits and encouraging female teachers. In Harad, Head teacher Adan says the results have been overwhelmingly positive. From the beginning until now, the attitude has changed and the difference is big. Because after some time, people understood the meaning of education. We can say 90% of the population here now understands the importance of education. The students can certainly see the benefits of education. 16-year-old Abdi Rashid Hussein Mohammed is in his fourth year at Harid Primary. He got off to a late start with his education, but now has big dreams. I am planning to join secondary school and all the way up to university level. I would like to study accounting and be a certified accountant. Without education, I would have been illiterate, and illiteracy is like you are in the dark with no light. The Alternative Basic Education program offers Abdi Rashid and other pastoralist children a unique opportunity to have a solid education while keeping up with their traditional lifestyle. This is Susanna Price reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to www.unicef.org. Unite for Children.